Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. So amen and amen. It is. It really is a beautiful day to be in Jesus. Hallelujah. And praise the Lord. A couple of questions that we love to ask people are, uh, well, let's begin this way. If you found out today that Jesus Christ was going to return tomorrow, what would you do differently? What would you do differently? If you're not saved, would you get saved? Would it make a difference? If you lit, you knew for sure Jesus was coming tomorrow, would you get saved? If you are saved, oh, brothers and sisters out there, what would you do differently? Perhaps give up that thing you do that you know you probably shouldn't do? Would you pray more? What would you do differently if you knew Jesus was coming tomorrow? Now, after pondering that thought for a few moments, here's the next question. What difference does it make if Jesus Christ is coming back tomorrow, next week, or next year? Jesus is coming again. So seriously, what will you do differently? Oh, and amen, and amen. It's <laughs> and here's the real question. Let's boil it down to what the real question is. The real question is, Jesus is coming again what are we going to do while we wait? Well, we know we should be about our Father's business. For the body of Christ, we know that we should be about our Father's business, doing those things which God has called us to do and to be. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We start every day with Jesus. We stay in Jesus all that day and we finish with Jesus as we lay our heads upon the pillow and trust in him. Yes, indeed. Oh, and amen. And we do. We share the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news. Indeed, Christ crucified. Jesus came, a sinless sacrifice, the perfect Lamb of God, without blemish, without spot. He bled, died upon the cross, his shed blood, the price of the forgiveness of our sin. Oh, and indeed, saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ, we share the good news. But there are other things in our daily lives, our prayer life, our worship, our praise and glory to God, our loving God first with all of our heart, with all of our mind, with all of our soul, with all of our being, with our strength. We love God and we love our neighbor as ourself. We love one another. We love one another as Christ has loved us. And we do that not just in word, but in deed. All that we do, that which we put our hands to, our labors of love. Oh, yes. All knowing that Jesus is coming again. And when he says, love thy neighbor as thyself, it doesn't say, he doesn't say, love only the neighbors that are saved as you love yourself. Thy neighbor. Who is my neighbor? 
whoever is standing next to you, <laughs> everyone around you, or all your neighbors, love them as you love yourself. Oh, but, you know, yes, it's true. In Luke's Gospel, chapter 6, he's recording the Sermon on the Mount, or part of the Sermon on the Mount at least anyway, if you compare it to Matthew's version. And one of the things that he says here is quite telling, and it begins in verse 35, and it reads like this. But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest. For he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye might, with all it shall be measured to you again. Well, praise God. Quite a telling collection of verses there. Love your enemies. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> the love here doesn't mean like. It means love, the love of God. Love your enemies. How do we love our enemies? We tell them the truth. We tell them about Jesus and being saved. We share with them the good news and the message that Jesus Christ is coming again. And while we do judge actions and we judge circumstances, it is not our place to judge another person in the intent of another person's heart. That's God's job and God will do it. You can count on it. Sin must be dealt with. Indeed, either forgiven through the shed blood of Jesus Christ or judged. And that's a message worth sharing with everybody today, tomorrow, next week, next year, till Jesus comes again. And we do this not sparingly or grudgingly or because we have to. No, but because we love to. What? Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over. That is an example from the marketplace. And it's one of my favorites in, in scripture about on this subject. The honest vendor in the marketplace, when you took your sack to have it filled with wheat to buy your wheat, the honest vendor would fill it full, shake it press it down, fill it until it was overflowing. The dishonest vendor didn't do that, filled it lightly, never shaken or pressed down, and barely full to the top. Get the example. We don't do what we do. We aren't who we are, grudgingly or sparingly. Mm. But give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye might with all, it shall be measured to you again. That's an important part of, of the verse, the second part. I love to quote the first part. The second part is equally as important with what measure you use shall be used for you. With what measure ye give, with what measure ye love, with what measure ye judge or condemn, 
the same shall be measured unto you. So if you knew tomorrow was the day that Jesus was coming again, what would you do differently? Would it be sparing, grudgingly, give it up, stop it, start it, change it? Or would it be with a heart of gladness and joy and thankfulness? Ah, indeed. All right. Just a few thoughts there. Because Jesus is coming again sooner, we think, than later. Let us be about our Father's business, sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ with others, growing in our knowledge, our wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the things of God, that we might share them one with another, that we might love our neighbor as we love ourselves, that we might love each other in the body of Christ as we ought. Yes, indeed. Indeed? Oh, indeed. All right. Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. Think about it. If you knew Jesus was coming tomorrow, what would you do differently today? In Jesus' holy and blessed name, amen and amen.